Okay, Eric, tell me about this Charger. This is a 1972 Dodge Charger Special Edition. The Special Edition was primarily noted by the hideaway headlights, full moldings, vinyl top, and they squared off the passenger window edge on the, the top. Well, that's right, you were telling me yesterday. This right here is squared off, which creates the vinyl top. They, they put a, uh, a piece of metal in here, hmm. vinyl top, square this off, new molding. So all the special editions had vinyl tops, but full moldings, hideaway headlights. Those are your primary um, special edition identification features, if you will. New vinyl top, paint, uh, all new suspension bushings, shocks, um, not too many nuts and bolts that weren't taken off the car. Mm -hmm. uh, new headliner, upholstery. Okay, we'll get a shot of that in a second. This body looks very, very straight. Little bit of body work. Um, the car originated in New York. Wound up out here, I'm the second owner, but did have a little body damage, uh, lower quarter panels, a little bit of corrosion, and the panel um, trailing the rear window, mm -hmm. which is pretty normal. Well, I can, let's go around this other side here again, and I'll get the, uh, we'll pop the door. It was originally gold. Um, what color is this? This is a black cherry, is what I was going for. Mm -hmm. I think we nailed it pretty good. It has a bit of pearl in it, so it changes uh, with the light and darkness and wetness. So at night, or you know, if the car is wet, which it hasn't been, um, if it is wet, it, it'll darken up. But it, it it pops with the light, so you get you get a lot of different colors off the paint. Super. Can you mind open that door for me? So the car was an originally a 440 car, uh, automatic on the column with no console. And that was due to the cassette player which is mounted on the tunnel. Um, we had upgraded to a five speed on this and um, I fabricated the small console there just to have a place to put a drink, wallet, whatnot. Awesome. You want to see if you can pop that front seat for me? I'll get a picture of the back seat yeah. here. But new headliner, new package tray on the back dash. Um, all new upholstery headliner. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, it looks great. You did a great job. Well, I'm going to shut this off for a second. We'll take a peek at the engine. Okay, Eric, tell me about this power plant. This is a 440. Uh, originally, like I mentioned before, I believe this was a 440 car. This was a 440 I had in my garage. Um, not exactly stock anymore. It's balanced, blueprinted, um, deck 30 over, comp cam, SRP pistons, Holly 770, wind intake, MSD ignition, much more reliable. March serpentine belts and pulleys. Put a Hurst line lock uh, anti roll control in it. Um, just have fun and do burnouts. Uh, hydraulic clutch and uh, two track differential with the Tremec TKO 500. Now, how many miles are on this since you finished it? Uh, approximately 4,500 to 5,000. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Still have the original air canister um, right here. That was primarily due to uh, fuel tank uh, venting. He, that's very hard to get rid of because the fuel tank is so low in the angle of it. Um, it, it needs that. Hmm. Retained the, uh, the stock air cleaner. It's a little modified on the bottom, put some additional air intakes, but just for uh, retro look went with that. And you said you still have the original engine that came in? I do. I have the original uh, engine, transmission, and drive shaft out of the car if you wanted to go back to an automatic. And that'll go with the sale? That goes with the sale. Awesome. Plus some miscellaneous uh, spares you might need. I got some burnout tires. Um, 
headlight motor parts. Those are um, kind of hard to come by. And some other miscellaneous stuff. Well, good. Again, I'm going to shut this off. Let's check out the trunk. And this trunk's all pretty solid now? It is. Yeah, there was no corrosion in this area. Um, just like I said, the car was gold everywhere, so it was painted everywhere. Um, painted underneath the mat. Um, spare jack. Um, it's uh, all complete functional light. This has a full lighting package, so um, it's a light up under the the lid there. Okay. The lighting package didn't include a hood light, under the hood light. But. Okay, we'll get this fired up. Okay, Eric, fire it up. My name is Dave Henry and please visit my website which is spokemotors.com s p o k e m o t o r s.com if you care to make an offer on this fine charger I'd sure appreciate it give me a call on my cell phone which is 805 705 4924 that's 805 705 4924 thank you very much for tuning in